My name is Tony Redberg, and I'm uh, Ted's son. And I'm here representing him for the Beacons Award on behalf of uh, my family and I. Community service was was very important um, to Ted. It was, um, I mean, the community was everything to him. He he, he took a lot of pride in, in being a member of uh, the Kaiser community, and it was really like he felt like he was an extension of his family. He loved football, but he didn't. The reason he coached wasn't necessarily for that reason. He he uh, I think he he understood that. The, the gift that he had in helping mold young men into, uh, well, young boys into and men, and um, he really cared about the kids, uh, the community, and, and the kids that he coached, and he knew that that was the most um, effective way he could he could have the most impact, and uh, and he took a lot of pride in it. I mean, he worked really really hard. He stayed up countless nights thinking about ways to send a different message to the team, and he would stay up and ruminate about you know, gosh. Uh, how can we do things differently? He would always be asking me questions. You know, this is, we were talking about a freshman football team, you know, and he was just, he was dedicated. That's how he, that's how he approached everything. And, uh, and he, you know, he had a thing every year where he would pick out a couple players on the football team. And they're, they're usually like the worst football players on the team. He would work really hard to, to figure out a, a special role that he could give them that would you know make make them feel important and and allow them to contribute and he, he made a big big event out of encouraging them and 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 supporting them and and um, i think gosh over the years it, it probably had a huge impact on a, a lot of kids and during a time which you know confidence is not necessarily at an all-time high when you're in high school especially if you're not one of the better players on the team so um, he loved all the kids and he would have done anything for them so We were always doing some sort of fundraising thing. Um, I mean, one one of the you know foundational principles or lessons that he would would always try to instill in his players was just to focus on you know giving, uh, not not on focusing on what you can get, but on just on focus on focusing on giving to others, and you know that involves getting involved in the community, um, having. An appreciation and a uh, sense of gratitude for um, and, and pride in what you represent, which is you're a part of the community, you're a team representing Kaiser. Kaiser is a place growing up where we had the opportunity to be a part of a great program and a great community. And so um, it was very much uh, a part of the, the, the lesson was, um, you know look people in the eye after the game and thank them for coming to the game that sort of thing um so yeah and if if you really believe that you were you know heeding his advice and you were really putting forth the effort um you know he would stop at nothing to continue to help you and you know he, he helped countless young people through so many different things i mean you could call him at you know midnight on a saturday you know if you had some issue or something that you were struggling with and he'd answer the phone and he'd help you. That's just who he was.